And it was almost like Inzaghi kind of, once the word got out, it's almost as if like they 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 were so good at simply exploiting that, mm. taking in the fact of the fact that the, that the Juve midfield was completely undermanned, um, just calibrated their movements accordingly and. Well, I, I think, good. Yeah. So would you wouldn't have started the Trident up front? Crikey, no. Not not in this. I mean, I, I, I think it is. When we talked about it, we said this is something that they should do in big games too. But not this big game. And not when they when, when physically. Because did you guys, did you think they were physically up to it? No. And I, I, I think three games in eight days and traveling no, around the world. Because yeah. Lazio have had extra time to prepare. They didn't play midweek. They're going to play their 17th league game next year, which yeah. works out well for them. Um, Juventus have a bench. Use but, it appropriately. But I, I also think that even within using that front three, some of the selections that Sadi then made helped Lazio. Because I understand why you think you're going with that super um, risky, I guess, approach up front. You call in De Chilio as a more defensive option. Except in practice, what was happening was De Chilio sitting so deep that when Lazio were bringing it out from defence, they spread the, um, the the central defenders wide and they give themselves options wide. They give themselves always an extra man because Ronaldo isn't going to be right on right. your touch and, 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 and pressing it. And then you have this giant space, especially on, on the wide on the left, because De Chilio is being very dutiful and sitting deep and not the, coming forward and so that space is just sat there it's just well, this there is the thing exploit. it was a very stretched team yeah. uh, and that was the point of it but i i don't know whether or obviously they are exhausted but i also also felt like it was it was not that they're not trying but there's something missing there they so who's exhausted the first three i mean I mean, Juventus in general, like, yeah, especially the front three. But I do think that this uh, Trident only works if you are pressing and you are harrying from the very top. I know that Ronaldo is not going to do that. So it's on to Dybala and Higuain to do this effort all the time from the very front. And I think it's hard to always maintain that. I wanted to see it in the big matches. I would have preferred perhaps them not playing the three men against Sampdoria, for example. And if, if this is the, the game to actually try it and if it meant that they they needed to relax. But my issue with Juventus is that I feel like there's nothing in the on the wings. There's mm-hmm. nothing coming. There's no, you know, there's no Cancelo uh, cross. There's no Dani Alves from a few years ago. There's Alexandro. You know, there's nothing. But this is mm-hmm. nothing coming from the wings. This is mm-hmm. why, in my opinion, if you're going to do this and it you need feels to risky, can no, commit to it and start Cuadrado. Because yes, that absolutely. gap is so big with Dishilio. It's too big. And Dishilio's not even that good a defender. I'm sorry to say it, no, but no, look at the first goal, he just it is, beaten. it is literally the perfect point for me. Mm. And also, especially when you have a midfield that can't provide anything, you've got three forwards waiting for something to happen, so no midfield creativity, nothing coming from the wings. Of course Lazio is going to destroy you with their vertical football. It seemed to me like it was. it had to happen. But then I thought the individual quality, of course, when they equalised, you never knew. So is this Sadie getting it wrong? Yeah. Well, you, you, you said it. Nikki said it. I said it. Nobody's disagreeing here. Yeah. I mean, De is an interesting case because to me he represents exactly the type of Italian defender I really, really hate. The guy who's been spoiled and babied and talked about his tactical intelligence always plays within himself, always. Right, never takes a gamble going forward. Yeah. Even even at the years when when when, when Conte played him on the way on wide and he did okay, he's supposed to be better than you know as a two way defender. He's supposed to be better than most Italian defenders, and he's not because he's always thinking safety first. He's so used to having tactical instructions up to here that he can't make any decisions on his own, I know. and he's just not good. Yeah. And I. You know, now we, we've regressed to the point. You know, Nikki uh, d- described him as a more defensive fullback. What we're really saying here, because the shooter is really a central defender, right? He's not really a fullback. Yeah, I agree with that. It's kind of like when Barzagli plays right back mm. at age 38. Like, okay, yeah, you're a right back now. You know? um, he's probably Juve's sixth best defender right now. I, I you know. Six? Yeah. Who are the five ahead? Oh, Chiellini, even oh, though he's oh, injured. Oh, sorry, Bonucci, well. Demiral. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. Although Demiral had a really Lugani, bad game. I'm sure there's a couple, I'm sure if Pinsolio played central defense, <laughs> he'd show more, he'd show more attributes oh, than this Oh, come on, guy. Rugani is the head of Di Chilio. I think so. I don't, I just don't like this guy. And I, I don't, and look, I mean, Okay, I but, but let's not push the boat out too far. But, and, and let's talk about Lazio, because yes. obviously, you know, we know that, you know, Juventus are a bit of a mess. Um... But Lazio was superb in everything. Sorry, sorry, can we just take a step back, though? I mean, I, we talk about Lazio, I think, within the context of them beating Juve twice in three weeks, because we can say Lazio are a bit of a, Juve are a, bit of a mess. 
No, Am it, I right in thinking that Lazio are the only team to have beaten Juve yes. since Sadi's Juve since the start of the season? Yes. Uh-huh. So let's uh-huh. keep this in context that if Juve are a mess, mm. it's the kind of mess a lot of other teams can only fantasize about. And I wanted to, yeah. to, to talk a little bit about, though, the, 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 the fitness side of things because you're right. Lazio had the week off and whatever. Sadi coming out and saying, we look drained afterwards. I'm sorry. You have an enormous squad. You have a squad that's so absurdly big that there are players like Mandzukic and whatever who you didn't even put into your um, in, 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 into your, your um, what's it called uh, into your Champions League squad list. You have supposedly this incredible youth academy, ooh, Vinovo, all this nonsense, right? Um, and you're going to complain about being tired. I mean, we mock Conte. And I mock Conte more than anybody mm. when he starts crying about you know needing more players and whatever. But he has a point. This guy doesn't. And as much as I like Sadi and want him to do well, well, I mean that it's gonna annoy you as a Juve fan when he comes out and he talks about they're tired, they don't have enough players, they're they're drained. <sighs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.